Hello, my name is Pastor Lewis Rosenthal of Lee McKinney First Baptist Church. Out of an abundance of caution, many of us will not be able to travel during the Christmas and the New Year season due to COVID-19. But we're going to do something in a very creative way to be able to say Merry Christmas to the Bayou Rapids community. If you're watching this video, you will see photos Photos of some of God's choicest servants who were born, raised, and lived in the Bayou Rapids community. I am so well pleased to say that I was raised and I was born and I came from the Bayou Rapids community. I thank God for that privilege. But as you see and you view the photos, each one of us will have different people that when you see them, will remind you of various things. For me, there are four people that had the greatest impact on my life. First, my mother, Velma Rosenthal. My mother taught me what selfless, unconditional, and sacrificial love is. And then there was Miss Ada Green. Miss Ada Green taught me what prayer is. Ms. Ada used to always say pray at 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 3. Really, she was quoting the 55th Psalm, verse 17, but her emphasis was just pray about everything. Pray without ceasing. Prayer is a significant part of my life. And then former pastor Emil Jones said one of the most profound statements that I still listen to the message from that, that he preached over 30 years ago. And that statement is something I share on a regular basis. He said, forgiveness is a necessary trait that makes human, re human relationships workable. You know, people fail to get along primarily because they fail to forgive. And then there was Miss Helen Lair, the greatest praise and prayer warrior I've ever known. It didn't matter whether Ms. Helen Lair, where things were going good or bad, whether she was happy or sad, she lived out the essence of a song that her daughter Gloria used to lead in the choir when she used to sing the song, There's a Bright Side Somewhere. Now, I'm not naive. I know as we look at the pictures and we look at the photos, some of the people that we're going to be looking at are people who recently, have been called home to glory. And for the first time, for some, you're going to experience Christmas with a significant person missing from the dinner table. So our prayer is that we would rem be reminded that God called everyone home when their mission and their purpose was complete. Jeremiah 29 11 affirms that God has a mission and a purpose for our life. So when our mission and purpose is completed, God calls us home. But we miss them. That's what death does. It separates those who are alive from those who have been called on the glory. I have in my hand, I have the homegoing program from my mother, Velma Rosenthal, dated Saturday, January the 9th, 1994. 1994. I still read this poem every time I find myself missing significant loved ones. Let me share it with you. It says, don't grieve for me, for now I'm free. Following the path God laid for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and I left it all. I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work. Or play. Tasks left undone must stay that way. I found that peace at the close of day. If my parting has left a void, then fill it with remembered joy. A friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss. Oh, yes, these things I too will miss. Be not burdened of times of sorrow. I wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been fooled. I've savored much. Good friends, good times, and a loved one's touch. 
Perhaps my time seemed all too brief. Don't lengthen it now with undue grief. Lift up your hearts and share with me. God wanted me now. He set me free. So I say Merry Christmas to buy you rapids. I am so privileged to have been raised off the by. May God bless and keep you. Amen.